Hello boys and girls, how are you today? It's finally Friday, yay, we made it to, to the end of another week and we actually have a long weekend coming up because there's a holiday on, on Monday, Monday 25th, we have um, Memorial Day, so it's going to be, um, it's one of the holidays that we learned about in social studies. Alright, so let's see what we're going to do today. Today we're going to begin boys and girls with page 209. It's actually only two pages. So page 209, you make sure you're on page 209. We're going to do that one. And then the next one, and that's it. The back of this page, and we're done. Well, we're done with reading, right? We still have to do math. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to review indefinite pronouns. Um, I'm going to do math with you. <laughs> yes, David is going to help, help me with math today. So uh, indefinite pronouns stand for the names of people or things. Just like a kind of review. They do not take the place of a noun for a certain person or thing, though. Write the indefinite pronoun that best completes the sentence. So under each sentence, we have two indefinite pronouns. We have four sentences, um, so that means that we have eight indefinite pronouns. But we can only choose one to complete the sentence. Let's go ahead and read sentence number one. Fly guy knew blink about being a pet so which one could be an indefinite pronoun the right indefinite pronoun to use in this sentence fly guy knew something about being a pet or fly guy knew anyone about being a pet which one makes more sense hmm something right so i'm gonna circle something and we are going to write it down make sure boys and girls when you write um the lower cases lower cases are from this dotted line down except some lower cases and i'll show you now some things so t goes from the top and so does h something hmm barely fits <laughs> Right. Let's go ahead and read number two. Buzz light blink about fly guy. What is it that Buzz likes about fly guy? Buzz light everyone about fly guy or Buzz. This is the boy light everything about fly guy. The right one will be everything. And it's funny because I there's one part that I don't like about fly guy. When it's time to eat, he always eats from the trash. So everything is also a compound word. Everything. Well, this one, um, this one feels better. All right. So number three, here we go. Number three, huh? Now, our indefinite pronoun is gonna be the first one in the sentence, so it must begin with uppercase. Blank was amazed by fly guy. Blank was amazed by fly guy. Who was amazed by fly guy? Everyone or everything? Everyone, right? He not only impressed the other animals, but also the judges. So we, we begin with uppercase. Uppercases begin on the top. David, do you want to listen to a story? We're going to read a story now. So it's gonna be everyone. Everyone was amazed by Fly Guy. So so far we have something, everything, and everyone. All right, and then our last one, boys and girls. Did Blink teach Fly Guy his tricks? Did everything teach Fly Guy his tricks, or did someone teach Fly Guy his tricks? It's gonna be someone, right? Someone, I think Fly Guy learned on his own. No, it refers to a person. Some. One. Did someone teach Fly Guy his tricks? And um, this is what we have. I'm trying to get the entire page on the screen. Oh, I want to say that as a surprise. Something, everything, everyone, and someone. All right, boys and girls. 
So do not forget if you need to if you need more time you can always pause the video. Si necesitan más tiempo siempre pueden pausar el video. There's only four words and uh, do not forget to write your name on the top of the page. All right, boys and girls, we only have one more page. And to do that page, I have a special surprise for you. So if you are a fan of Fly Guy, look what I have here. I have another book about Fly Guy. Who write for Fly Guy? David, do you want to listen to the story too? Come. Sit up here so you can listen to the story. Come. So this story is, um, the title is Who write, Who write for Fly Guy? And um, here we go. <laughs> it was written by Ted Arnold. Alright. So here we go. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy c could say the boy's name. Do you remember the boy's name? Buzz. <laughs> So this is the same buzz Roz, that we... Roz, Roz. No, it's not Roz, it's buzz. B, you see? B, Oz. So this is buzz, the same boy that we met on our on the other story. This is chapter one. Fly guy went with buzz to play football. <laughs> Coach said... We need one more player for the big game. So here's the coach. They need one more player. Who do you this think? One. Uh, well, no, he's he's already part of the team. So he they're gonna look for another for another team player. Buzz said, "Fly guy can't play." So Buzz wants Fly guy to play on the team. Hmm. And Fly Guy, look at, did you see the face that Fly Guy put? Like, uh, I am so brave. <laughs> I can do it. I'm tough. Yeah, because you have to be really tough to play these, these kind of game. All right. Coach laughed. Oh, my goodness. That's what everyone does. Flies can play football. Everyone laughs when um, they don't believe in Buzz and Fly Guy. Oh. Buzz said, Fly Guy, show him what you can do. Fly Guy kicked the ball. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Look what happened. Was he able to kick the ball? No. The ball fell on top of him. Fly Guy went out for a pass. Oh my goodness. Some, someone um, threw the ball at him and he couldn't. He couldn't catch it. Fly guy tried to tackle Buzz. <laughs> he couldn't even tickle him. He, he crashed into on, on, on Buzz. Oh no. I was right, said coach. Flies can play football. But he can come to the game. Oh well, at least he can come to the game, right? Hmm. Chapter 2. It was the day before the big game. Buzz made a helmet for Fly Guy. What do you think that um, Buzz used to make the helmet? What do you think he used? He used the popcorn shell. <laughs> and some paint. They play football. So this was, this was like a practice. They did jumping jacks. Uh-oh. Poor fly guy. He doesn't even need to jump. His body jumps next to the other kids. They planned a secret play. Hmm. They made up a touchdown dance. Yay, that dance looks fun, right? Mm-hmm. They went to the big game. Coach said, a new player joined our team. All right, so this is a new player, you see? Oh, no. There's a new player, so they don't need Fly Guy anymore. Oh, it's a humongous uh, player. It's, it's even taller than the coach. 
Oh no. Look at Fly Guy. He's kind of sad, right? Fly Guy is sad on the bench. Poor little thing. The game started. His team scored. Fly Guy sheared. Yay! Or maybe he said, buzz! Right? <laughs> All right. The other team scored. Fly Guy worried. The other team scored a lot. Oh no. Now he's trying to eat his little tiny nails. <laughs> they are winning as they are winning, or maybe buzz, buzz, buzz. Because that's what he says. Help. He has to go help. He's, let's see if they allow him to help. Chapter 3. Finally, <clears throat> there was one second left in the game. Oh, look at the scoreboard. The big game. So the go getters <clears throat> is um, Buzz's team. And then the other team got 17 points. Who do you think is winning? Buzz, Buzz team or the other team? Who's winning? Who has more points? Mm, this one. The other team. Yeah, the other team is winning. Mm, that's bad. They're going to lose a big game. And the new player was hurt. Oh my goodness, the big guy got hurt. The one that was taller than, than the coach. Oh, okay, so that, that might give Fly Guy a chance, right? Uh -oh. Who's this? That's the, the, the new player that the coach introduced. Oh, here we go. That's the coach. Coach said, okay, Fly Guy, you can play now. The game is lost anyway. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so that's Buzz, and this is Fly Guy. Boss said, it's time for our secret play. Fly Guy went to the line. <laughs> so here you can see Fly Guy. Next to the other players. And in front of the, the other team. Hmm. That one has a mean smile. The other team snapped the ball to their quarterback. They took the ball to the quarterback, right? But, guess what? Fly guy flew fast and straight. He went fast and straight. He's fast, right? He flew right up to the quarterback's nose. <laughs> he got into the, into the other kid's nose. The boy dropped the ball. Of course, he's, someone went into his nose. And guess who took the ball? Buzz took the ball. Buzz picked it up and ran. Yay! Now the game is saved. He scored. Yay! What are they doing here? They're doing the winning dance. Fly Guy and Boss did their touchdown dance. Yay. <laughs> I bet that what type of music, right? I wonder what type of music they're imagining to do that. Frost. Frost? Okay. All right, boys and girls. So we're going to use this these book, boys and girls. Um, the Who Write for Fly Guy um, story. The one where Fly Guy is a football player. We want to use it on this page. So, of you, we have to write an opinion. In the story that we read this week, Fly Guy, he had to he had to show that he was a pet. How did he show that he was a pet? Well, he he knew his owner. He knew Buzz, and he knew where he lived. He he went out of the planet and he went back in into the jar. Now. Um, Fly Guy had to prove himself again. He had to prove he was he was a team player, and um, I think he is a team player. That is my opinion, and that's what we're gonna do now. Don't forget, boys and girls, to write your name at the top of the page, and uh, we're gonna plan my opinion in a paragraph. So uh, when we write a paragraph, boys and girls, we put all of the sentences together, right? It says, write your opinion, write reasons and examples, then write a closing sentence. So that's what we're going to write right now. My opinion, boys and girls, Fly Guy is a team player. 
oh my goodness huh you see why you shouldn't write with um with a pen so but I, I I got I really want you to see it so don't copy that no copying is okay can make you okay I made a mistake boys and girls fly guy uh, by the way we should put that in uppercase yeah I should have made that in uppercase fly guy um this is actually the fly's name fly guy fly guy you don't have to copy that don't forget this is my mistake fly guy is a team player a team player now how do we know the fly guy is a team player how do you know he's a team player don't forget no no tienen que copiar eso solo un error que cometí yo y lo taché fly guy is a team player that is my opinion after reading the story i think boys and girls the fly guy is a team player but now we have to list reasons and give examples um, for the reasons. Well, my first reason, boys and girls, I want you to look at it. Well, my first reason will be that um, over here, he's trying to kick the ball. Look at it. Even though, even though the ball fell on top of him, he's trying. He's trying. He keeps trying. Let's see if we can go to the next page. Uh oh, can't turn the page. Oh, because I was trying to turn the other book's page. The workbook book, the workbook page. All right, so he, look at it. He's, he's proud of the colors of his team. He's right there trying and um, he, he doesn't give up boys and girls, even though sometimes he gets hard and sometimes he doesn't know how it is going to end. He, he's part of the team. He's always there. He's always trying. So we can say that one one reason could be um, fly guy. Now I'm going to write it correctly. Fly. I'm going to put it with uppercase. Fly guy tries. Fly guy tries to play, right? Even though he's not as big as the other kids are, he's he tries to play. How do you know? Because we have to give an example. How do you know? There are several examples over here. He kicks the ball. And over here he says he fly guy tried to tackle balls. So he's always trying. Even though coach says no, it's okay. Um, he's, he cannot. He a fly cannot be a football player, but he can come to the game. He's always trying. He's always looking for a chance. So one example can be that. One example can be that um, he tries to kick the ball, right? Or he kicks the ball. He couldn't move it because he's just a fly. But he tries. He tries. That's that's an important quality of a team player he kicks the ball so one reason why i think that fly guy is a team player is because fly guy tries to play even though he's just a fly he doesn't say oh no that's too hard for me because i would say that <laughs> i would definitely say that no i don't play football I would say, oh, um, um, that's, that's so hard for me. But he tries. Fly guy tries to play. He kicks the ball. All right. Don't forget, we have to give one more reason. We have to give a second reason. What could be a second reason? Well, he's, he not only tries, but when he try and try, did he give up? After he couldn't catch the ball, because the ball almost almost kill him over here maybe you remember so do you remember this part after the ball almost smashed him down and over here too he couldn't kick the ball and he couldn't even tackle buzz did he give up he said you know what i'm going to stay home i'm not gonna play no he didn't give up in chapter three and chapter two we can see him ready for the big game we can see him play we can see him trying again 
Here we can see him trying again. He doesn't want to give up. That's another quality of a team player. Team player never, never gives up. So here we go again. Fly guy does not give up. This is his name. That's why we put it in uppercase. Fly guy does not give up. Does not give up. I'm going to put my, my period over here because that's my the end of my sentence. Fly guy does not give up, right? He keeps trying and trying. And one example is, I think the biggest example that we can see is here. He goes, he goes to the big game, right? He goes to the big game. He is ready to play. It's just that the coach says, no, I got a new big player. The little guy is going to see it. Hmm. But even though, even though he, the coach tells him he has to see it, he, he's still there. He doesn't give up. So that means that uh, an example can be that he goes to the game. He goes to the game. And it's not only the game, it's a big game. He won't fit here, but it's all right. He goes to the game. Do not forget to put a period at the end of your sentence. All right, so that's what we have so far. Fly guy tries to play. That's one reason. He he kicks he kicks the ball and he he even tries to to catch the ball. Now another a second reason is that fly guy does not give up. He goes to the game. Hmm. What better reason than that? All right, boys and girls. So um, maybe you remember how we said that a closing sentence actually restates our opinion. So when if we say fly guy is a team player. We have to do something else related to our opinion. We can say, Fly Guy is a great team player. That's what we're going to do. Fly Guy. Oh, I need to remember uppercase. It's like name and last name, right? Fly Guy is a great team player. Because I'm restating what my opinion is. And now we can put a period at the end and we are done. All right. So Fly Guy is a team player. That's what we think. Why do we think so? Well, this is what we have. Fly Guy tries to play. An example of it is that he kicks the ball even though he's tiny. Fly Guy does not give up. That's my second reason. How do I know that he doesn't give up? He goes to the game. And finally, to close all these that we said, all of our opinions and examples, we say Fly Guy is a great team player. Fly Guy is a gran jugador de equipo. All right, so that's what we have, boys and girls. Um, I hope you enjoy our story. And I also hope you write your name at the top of the page, please. And, um, well, I wish you have a very, very happy weekend. Don't forget that it's a long weekend. Monday, you have the, the day off. So enjoy and enjoy your family. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye, boys and girls.